um, so it'll look pretty. So this is just your trail walk, which is a slow walk. Okay, so this um, walk is slow. It's usually under like three miles per hour, and we know she's not doing that, okay? But as they're going, their head's kind of low. It's not way up in the air, but it's not way down towards the ground either, because then again, they can get trippy because they're not paying attention. And then they're reaching up underneath themselves, but they're pretty relaxed. For her flat walk, you're gonna squeeze with both legs and you're gonna speed her up until she's walking faster and her head starts going up and down some. So the rhythm of it should kind of be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Go just a tiny bit faster, not much. One, that's good. So now it's about keeping that speed. So as you're going around, you're gonna to have to keep pushing with your legs anytime she slows down. And if she speeds up too much, you can squeeze and relax on the rein, which is the half halt, yep. Yeah. Her head position is fine. Okay. So your horse is stepping up into her front hoof print. She's not stepping over it. Sundance steps a foot over his front hoof print. But this is a good horse to have, you know, going up and down hill. Sundance has more problems because he has such a big stride. With her head, you just want it straight, and again, you don't want it too high or too low. Yep, if her nose is sticking out a little bit, that's fine. You just want the horse to be comfortable. If you're showing, it's different, but this is fine for her. Go a little bit faster, because she slowed down. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you're getting it. So if you start bouncing up and down, you would just slow it down, and then you can try to add more speed again. Now she's kind of back to her flat walk, so a little bit more energy, squeeze more with those legs, or you can wiggle the rein on her neck and see if that'll speed her up. So again, your flat walk was kind of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So our running walk's kind of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You're good. Now, see if you can keep it. <laughs> good. So as they're going around, you're just trying to keep that same rhythm. So again, if they're too fast, you'll use your reins because that's your brakes. And if she gets too slow, then it's more legs. I like to keep the reins from swinging around in her mouth too much. Sure, it's good. So you'll stay at the running walk. I got the video on. Keep her head down a little bit. Yep. You keep a nice rhythm. Okay, now let her head go and go ahead and speed her up. And we'll see if she'll show you the pace for the video. There you go. Yep. Just keep going, just so we get on the video. So that's gonna be your pace. So it's bumpy, yep. And her back's more inverted and they always look like they're lame. Now slow her down until it smooths out, yep. And then push her forward again, there you go. So keep that contact on her mouth. <laughs> but see, even if they're gated, well, they got a little pace and they got a little trot, so we just gotta keep them out of it. Okay, so I got your video. So keep, stay at your running walk, yep. And then when you're ready, go ahead and speed her up and kind of do, just let the reins go and she'll probably go in that pace. There, she's going more towards it now. Go a little faster just so you can see it more in the video. There you go. That's your pace. Good. And then just collect her back up. Trot can feel very similar because they're both kind of bumpy. That's how the video is going to help you. <laughs> Good. So see if you can keep that running walk all the way around. Watch if that head starts coming up or if it starts going side to side that you take a little bit more contact on her. Your elbow a little bit, that'll put some more contact on the rein. Because she's, she's good one minute and then she's kind of wobbling around. Yep, but you'll get the hang of it. There she's getting a little too fast and she's going more towards the pace. So it might start feeling bumpy. So just keep her right underneath that speed. So she's going up to her running walk, yep. You're gonna sit up nice and tall. You might have to hold her together. Yep, because otherwise, again, sometimes they go too fast and go up into their next gate. So she's pretty good, but she's getting a little bit strung out. The speed's good. You're just gonna have to pull a little bit more on that rein or tighten your fingers up and hold her together, but then use more leg to push her forward. Good, so her head's shaking, you're moving back and forth in the saddle, just don't go any faster or you'll be up in her running walk. But that's good for her flat walk. Okay. 
Yeah, and she's not doing anything horrible. It's just once in a while she gets her head a little bit to the right, but a lot of times when they do that, they put their body the other way. Right. So you just keep concentrating on if she feels straight to you and just kind of straighten her with your legs and your hands. The hands are just guiding and the legs kind of pushing her the direction you want to go.